that it's next weekend. We have so many things going on this weekend. I mean, this it's weekend, be beautiful. my day timer is just filled up with lots of fun, <laughs> and you want to go to every event happening. Oh, yeah. And too, the weather's going to be perfect, so make sure you do plan on spending some of that time outdoors. Right now, we are waking up to quite a bit of cloud cover, even a few light showers making their way just from our west, pushing eastward, just south of Charlottesville around Lovingston. That's pushing into Fork Union. Powhatan, you've got a nice mist, but that's better than nothing. So we'll take every drop we can get. What's picking up in the city? That's just ground clutters picking up from the radar. So no rain for you guys yet, but we will have a chance later on this afternoon. Current temperatures 71 degrees. Our dew point is at 64. Earlier this morning it was at 63. I know one degree doesn't sound like a lot, but it feels a lot different. Still humid, but not as muggy as what we have been. We've got 69 in Tappahannock, West Point at 68. The Tri Cities, you're coming in at 69 right now. We've got 67 in Farmville, Louisa. Second day of school. Y'all are starting at 70 degrees. We are warmer than where we were this time yesterday by around six degrees in Louisa, nine degrees warmer in Charlottesville. Now it's all about the dew point. Temperatures could be 90, but if you've got a low dew point, it's still going to be a comfortable 90. That's why I talk about dry heat. Well, today we are starting out warmer and it's still comfortable. It's humid, but it's also August and it's still summer. So take advantage of this morning while you can. Lunchtime will be in the upper 80s after lunch, low 90s, and then we're going to have a weak cold front accompanied with a short wave push into our direction. That is going to give the chance for some strong to severe storms to take place. This is not going to be a widespread severe event. Nothing compared to what we dealt with on Wednesday, but some of these will have some gusty winds, a lot of lightning, and yes, even some large pieces of hail. So just keep a close eye out. The timing of this is going to start around 3 o'clock northward, pushing its way down to our south by around 6, 7, and it will be out of here. Not everyone will get rain. I know most of us need it fast, badly, but we will see some hit and miss situations. Clear skies and drier conditions are back Saturday as well as Sunday. Highs will be in the upper 80s. That dew point, though, is going to be lower. It's going to be very comfortable, so you can head out to the Filipino Festival, the Jazz Fest, or even Sunday, go out to the Watermelon Festival on Cary Street. It's going to be a weekend full of fun for the family. Temperatures going into early next week are slowly going to climb back up. Not only are they going up, so is your dew point. So it will be very sticky going into Monday through Wednesday. Thankfully, there is relief Wednesday afternoon. A cold front's going to move in, giving us a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms, a better chance than today. And that will cool you off just in time for Thursday. Guys? All right, thanks, Nikki D. Tonight on CBS 6, starting at 8, it's Hawaii 5.